I'm about to show you two things. That if you let your enemies hear congratulations, you are going to fall down. I'm saying it one more time. If your enemies are told congratulations, you will be the one to fall down. Because the moment an enemy hears congratulations, it means they have succeeded in fighting you. So turn to the person around you and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Who is saying congratulations? Who is saying congratulations? To your enemies. To your enemies. Now let's read the scripture. Judges chapter 16, verse number 5. Judges chapter 16, verse number 5. Judges chapter 16, verse number 5. The rulers of the Philistines went to her and said, If you can lure him into showing you the secret of his great strength and how he can overpower, we can overpower him so that we may tie him up and subdue him, each one of us will give you 1,100 shekels of silver. Now, the 1,100 shekels of silver in our present day is 1,000 US dollars. And the Philistine chiefs, they were five. So the amount of money that they gave to um, Delilah was 5,000 US dollars. Give me the um, TOB and the answer is there. They gave her $5,000. Something down for was just $5,000. Be very careful that people don't sell you for cheap. The five heads of the Philistine nation went personally to her and demanded that she find out from Samson what made him so strong that they would know how to overpower him and subdue him and put him in chains. Each of us will give you a thousand dollars for the job they promised. As the person around you who is paying the money. Who is paying the money? Now let's go to verse number 18 NIV. Let's go to verse number 18 NIV. And let's see it. Verse number 18 NIV. Who is paying that money? Um, it says, when Delilah saw that he had told her everything, she sent word to the rulers of the Philistines, come back at once. He has told me everything. So the rulers of the Philistines returned with the silver, with the 5,000 US dollars in their hands. Help me to speak to the neighbor on your left and right and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Oh, I can't say my neighbor. My neighbor. Your enemies. Your enemies. Will never hear. Will never hear. Congratulations. Congratulations. By you. By you. Will hear. Will hear. Congratulations. Congratulations. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. Amen. Marvin, make sure they do everything quick now. Now, Amen. Um, the book of Judges was not supposed to be written in the Bible. Because Judges do not rule in the land. But in the people of Israel, the people that are supposed to rule are the kings. But they got, they, 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 it happened to ten generations that God himself blocked everyone from coming into the assembly of God. And because the 10 generations were being blocked from coming into the assembly of God, God had to choose some judges to come and rule. Because a judge does not rule. A judge gives a judgment. A judge gives a judgment. And some of the judges in the land of Israel, some of them were called Gideon. Some of them were called Jephthah. Some of them were called Deborah. And other, um, some of them were called Samson. Something came in the time of his life where the land of Israel, they were in torment in the days of the Philistines. They were in trouble. Every affliction designed against them was escalating. And one day there was a man. The name of the man was called Manoah. And the Bible says, and the wife was looking for baby for a long time, but the baby didn't come. The Bible says everybody was running after God for God to give them something so that their babies will come out. But nobody was having a baby until one day an angel of the Lord entered and visited protocol sit down um, an angel of the Lord visited and met the wife of Manoah and said to Manoah Manoah God is about to bless you and inside of you whatever you are looking for is about to come out and the baby you carry is not a baby just for yourself but it's a baby that is about to change the whole nation Jesus. some of you as you are moving about in life i want you to understand what you carry is not just for you what you carry is not just for your family yes, what you carry is about to transform the lives of so many people yes, around you Lord. that's why you are not permitted to fail yes, because if you fail somebody's 
salary is in your pocket Jesus. but the moment you do well something big will begin to happen in your Amen. life today whatever is inside of you nothing will be able to stop it Amen. your baby in your womb is coming out Amen. the blessing in your womb is coming up now the, the, the bible says now manuel's wife becomes pregnant and when she becomes pregnant the bible says the baby comes out by the name of samson now the word samson comes from the hebrew word shemson and the word shemson simply means and sunshine so when you see something his name simply means the sunshine i'm so glad that his name is not called the moonlight but the name is called the sunshine right. because the moon get their source of light from the sun Jesus. so the sunshine simply means i'm the source of every light oh, no. the reason why some people cannot stand you is because anywhere you go you are the source of their blessings Jesus. so all your friends that left you they have made a very big mistake yes, because every blessing coming on them you are the conduit you are the channel Jesus. you are the source of that blessing Amen. tell somebody, somebody sunshine sunshine when there is sunshine sunshine is not afraid of any darkness because when the sun is on you don't even need a candle Sorry. god is about to cause your destiny to look like yes Lord. sunshine oh if you believe that you are the sunshine tomorrow morning when somebody asks you how are you doing just tell them i am the sunshine i'm trying my best jesus so Samson's name simply means sunshine and the bible says in the process of time Samson is doing well he looks at a lady and says, i want to marry a lady and Samson was not a bad boy Samson actually went to the family and said i've seen a lady in the vineyards of Temna, and i want to go and marry her and Samson's father and mother they follow Samson to go and marry the lady but later on listen to me most of the trouble Samson went through before you insult Samson, i want you to understand one thing Samson went through all this issue with this prostitute while well, went to this issue with delilah all because of one reason when Samson got married he went to fight when he came back they gave their wife to his can i tell you who they gave the wife to yes, they gave their wife to his best man at his wedding jesus oh, oh i can't I said, they gave their wife to the best man at his what wedding. wedding so from that time samson was a broken man may your best man not do you evil Amen. may the person connected to you jesus. not become with the, oh i can't feel yes, somebody Lord. Oh, the last person to say the amen. amen. When Samson came, the best man was the one that was marrying and just going so close to the wife. What will you do when the one you trusted is the one tormenting your life? Jesus. May the altar of God give you victory on every side. Amen. May God destroy every affliction against your destiny. Amen. Say, oh God, oh God, whoever wants to disturb my life, whoever wants to disturb my may life, may they be exposed by the oil. May they be exposed by the oil. Now, Samson has gone through all this issue, and the Bible says one day, Samson was there, and because of this whole issue, he needs companion. And 16 verse number one the bible says something makes a move he jumps and he goes to a place that is called gaza someone say gaza gaza now when he went to gaza something didn't meet any other person in gaza but he met a prostitute the bible says one day something went to gaza and he was with a prostitute and the bible said the moment something got to gaza and he was with the prostitute they said they said to the people of the society this guy that has been fighting us today he's in house number 12. jesus so the bible says the whole people in the city verse number two all of them came to stand in front of the house and said that when something gets out we will kill him they use the lady as a trap who are they using to trap you jesus sometimes your business can be a trap yes, sometimes your elevation can be a trap what is being used to trap your life from now to the end of the year anything designed to trap you jesus i use the hand of god to unblock it right now amen. but what stops other people cannot stop you amen. what blocks other people will not be able to block you amen so now they say something 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 is there so they wait all night just to finish something but the bible says something came on something by the time they were away something went to the city gates he broke off the city gate and he carried the gate at his back and carried the uh, and ran on top of the mountain jesus this guy was strong somebody who has taken an iron gate take it at his back and climb on top of the hill so the bible says until the night he got up and took hold of the doors of the city gate together with all the iron bars he lifted them to his shoulders and carried them to the top of the hill that faces hebron the guy was strong said so the guy was strong the guy was strong i can't feel say so the guy was strong the guy was strong now he carries it and he finds himself on top of the hill and while samson is on top of the hill 
this is where his trouble started from whilst he was standing on top of the hill he looked down in the valley and fell in love with a lady in the valley be careful about the level of the person you hook up to that's right if you are on the mountain don't go for people in the valley yes sir Jesus. verse 4 so sometime later let, let's go to verse 3 so that you know that in verse 3 he was on the hill verse 3 the last clause he was at the hill in verse 3 but in verse 4 the bible says and something sometime later fell in love with a lady in the valley and the lady was called delilah jesus when you are up don't do business in the valley sir don't marry in the valley sir don't date in the valley jesus don't hook up with people in the valley yes sir so there are some people here and you hear you respond if they are in the valley you are above them yes, don't sir. go down to their level Jesus. and when people are calling you this is what they said about you tell them i'm sorry i'm on the mountain yes, i can't sir. hear what he said jesus oh those who are clapping you got the revelation already yes lord if you are on top of the mountain don't go down to the people in the valley yes, sir. so something downfall was because he went with a lady in the valley because for delilah something never in the test when you read the test there's no word mention that something slept with delilah that's right but something was connected to a lady in the valley and let me advise you if somebody is in the valley they will pull you down jesus sometimes on top of your head you are saying to yourself i want to bring you up before you bring up the person from the valley check your strength level that's right some of you if it's not some good that you did to some people you didn't have been where you are today and now when things started going down the same people are telling you you are good for nothing Jesus. they are saying that god has them god has been the one to punish you mm. they're saying you are lazy you are not lazy you gave all to them but you didn't know that there were people in there jesus there were people in the valley and when 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 they are in trouble they know how to call your number but when you are in trouble i want to ask you one question who do you call that's right who do you call who do you call when they're in trouble who do you call when you're in trouble who do you call you have no one to call if you are even shy to call them because you are the one that you are hanging out and helping them yes, sir. but the last time you call them they said to you listen to me if you are here going to that scenario today i came to lift you from the valley jesus and may god take you on top of the mountain Amen. receive the strength of god right now i receive so it. enough is enough enough is enough sit down for a minute i have 10 minutes to go so right now something hooks up with a lady in the valley something what are you doing in the valley something you are sunshine what are you doing in the valley the sunshine is supposed to shine on top of the mountain something when you go down the shadow of the valley will block your sunshine rays. Jesus. Some of you are like a sun. Be careful that they don't block your light. Yes, sir. There are some people around you, when they come around you, they can block your light. Be very careful, they don't block your life. Yes, Slap right. your neighbor and five and say, My neighbor. My neighbor. Make sure. Make sure. They don't block your light. They don't block your light. No, no, no. If that was not even enough. So right now, something is having. A friendship with a lady in the valley and the bible says whilst the lady is there some people came to the lady verse number five the tlb and they came to her and said that right now since you have gotten hold of the guy in the valley we are about to give money to you it's called satanic collateral he said each of us we have five philistine heads because the philistine nation they had five different cities their major cities one of them was called ekron the other one was called askelon the other one was called ashdod the other one was called gath and the other one was called Gaza. So all the Gaza chiefs, all the Gaff chiefs, all of them, they came to them and said, I will give you thousand. This will give you thousand. So total will be five thousand US dollars. I have a problem here. A man like the caliber of Samson, he went down because of five thousand US dollars. Be very careful you don't sell yourself cheap. Yes, sir. You are so precious. How can you stop your sun sign because of five thousand? us dollars mm. but you some you, you you something here you are supposed to be a judge of your nation that's right as a judge of your nation somebody takes five thousand just to destroy you mm. but me to have a problem with delilah delilah 
can you use just 5,000 to bring a person down? Jesus. And nobody who has taken a contract Jesus. just to bring your destiny and your life down Jesus. so that they will hear the sounds of congratulations. Yes, Let the altar of God stop it right now. Amen. Whether they are in your family, whether they are among your friends, Jesus. by the count of three, God is exposing them right now. Amen. One, two, three. Shout, expose. expose. Oh, the last to say the expose. Something is happening right now. Expose. One, two, three. Shout, expose. expose. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Be very careful. Be very careful. How you connect to them. How you connect to them. Jesus. Delilah, you are stopping a whole man. You are destroying a whole human being because of 5,000 US dollars. About 60,000 Ghana cities. Something is going down because of 60,000 Kwame and Kroma Ghana. That's right. What will you do? Because she doesn't care that when something falls down, the whole nation is falling down. You know that Samson ruled in the land of Israel for 20 years. 15 verse number 20, judges. Samson ruled for 20 years. And all his 20 years, this lady came to cut it off because of 5,000 US dollars. Let's all read together. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Samson led Israel for 20 years in the days of the Philistines. Samson. So Samson was supposed to rule more than 20 years. But 5,000 US dollars cut him off short. Jesus. I came to ask you one question are you still on your assignment or is something something trying to cut off your assignment if anything is trying to cut off your assignment today i came to take away the blockade from your assignment hey. oh i just heard some good news can i tell you yes sir the lord said that you'll tell my people oh i like what i'm about to say can i tell you yes i like it so much. i don't know how to tell can i tell you yes the lord said that you'll tell my people they will fulfill Jesus, I can feel you. Jesus, they will fulfill yes, Lord. their assignment in life. Jesus. Whatever wants to block them, Jesus. no cancer, no disease, no Jesus. affliction, no issue, no scandal yes, will be able to stop and affect the affliction. Jesus. No, your assignment can never be blocked by Jesus. the message of God. Slap your neighbor and say, My neighbor, my neighbor, nothing can stop your assignment. Nothing can stop your assignment. Say, preach Daniel. Preach Daniel. That's what I was born to do. Thank you. Nothing can stop your assignment. Now, the, 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 same, the same land of Israel, before Samson came, there were other judges. And one of them was called Gideon. And this guy by the name of Gideon, no Delilah destroyed, disturbed him. So he ruled for 40 years. And the Bible says, when Gideon ruled, so long as Gideon was alive, there was peace in the nation. Right. 8 28 judges let's see whether it's there i'm about to show you something so long as gideon ruled check whether it's there for me eight perfect look at it right now it says thus median was subdued before the israelites and did not raise its head again during gideon's lifetime the land had peace Jesus. for 40 years yes, which means because of gideon for 40 years there was no trouble that's right because you are in the family in this generation Jesus. there will be no disaster in that family Amen. because of you there will be peace yes, Lord. because of you there will be prosperity yes, Lord. because of you god will favor your destiny Amen. say my neighbor my neighbor because of me because of me there will be peace there will be peace clap your hands So, see a contrast between Samson and Gideon. Gideon brought peace for 40 years. Samson was cut off. And even when Samson was still around, these same Philistines were disturbing Samson too much. They disturbed Samson. The same 15 verse 22, NLT, look at what it says over there. And mind you, Delilah is from the Philistine nation. That's right. Let's go, let's go. 15, 20, NLT. And look at what is there. But I want to show you something yeah he says look at it right now samson judged israel 20 years during the period when the philistine dominated the land samson so long as you are around make sure nobody dominates the land jesus but because gideon was around the midianites couldn't dominate but samson couldn't do the job may you not become a samson Amen. 
but may you become a Gideon that will fulfill your purpose, yes, your Lord. destiny by the mercies of God. Amen. Now, in my last seven minutes, the Bible says, right now, the money has been promised. And do you know that all the time Delilah was doing all this job to make sure something brings out the secret? This is the, this is the sad news. The money was not given to Delilah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the time, the ladder was saying, Something tell me your strength. Try to tell me your strength. None in San Cascano. It was after they got something that they paid the money. Do you know the reason why she was busy doing the job? Because she only had the promise. Jesus. That some people, people have promised them to destroy you. That's right. The money has not even come, home, but they are bent on destroying you. Jesus. Whoever has received a promise to disturb Jesus. your life, let my God from this altar yes, Lord. disturb and destroy yes, Lord. and break it right now. Amen. No, 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 wait, sit down, sit down, sit down. The ladder doesn't have the money yet. Let's go 16, 16, 16. Let's see something from there. She doesn't have the money yet. But still, she's busy. Look at it. With such nagging, she prodded him day after day until she was, he was sick to death. So, something, what takes him? Get in the hand, catch him, you catch him, you catch him. When the woman is nagging you, my, my brother, go and sleep. Don't go close to the lady who likes complaining. That's right. Verse 17. Verse 17. All the ladies, I know that by the time you close the service, you fight with me. So if your lady stop complaining, you complain too much. Verse 17, look at it right now. So look, look at it. So he told her every yeah. thing. No razor had been used on my head before. He said, because I've been born in Nazareth, dedicated to God from my mother's womb. In, if my head were shaved, my strength would have left me and I would become weak as any other man. And let me tell you, all this time, all this time, all this time, Samson is saying this, the money was not given to Delilah. Jesus. Let me prove to you. Now let's see verse 18, when the money was given to her. When Delilah saw that he had told her everything, she sent word to the rulers of the synagogue, uh, Philistines. Come back one more. He told me everything. So the rulers of the Philistines returned the money in their hands. Jesus. Delilah. <laughs> Hear me? So Delilah was busy working, although she was not paid. That's right. She got paid after she got the job. Jesus. Dan, look at you. God has been good to you. You have never paid any money before. That's right. But Delilah is not paid, but she is still working. Jesus. Some of you, you want to give your tithe only when God blesses you. That's right. Start thinking about it. That's right. Delilah was busy working, although she was not paid. Will you give to God even if the testimony has not come? Think about it. And after they gave her the money, after they gave her the money, they now, she was the one who called the people. Now you can come. Come and take off his head. Come and take off the head. Verse 19. Verse 19. Verse 19. After putting him to sleep on her lap, she called for someone to shave him off. Ah. And they took off the seven braids. So began to subdue him. His strength left him. The verse 20 will cause you pain. Everybody, the verse 20 will cause somebody to cry right now. And this is where I'm really afraid. Anytime you wake up in the morning, you are praying. Says, then she calls Samson. Samson! Come! The enemies are on you. Samson, you know you are a strong man. Come and fight them. At that time, Samson didn't put his hand around his head. He thought the bridge was still there. So the Bible says, I will go out as before. Shh! I will go out as before them and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord Jesus has left him. Jesus. Sister, I want to ask you one question. Has the Lord left you? Jesus. Man of man of God, I want to ask you, Prophet Daniel, has the Lord left you? Listen, when the Lord leaves you, you'll be like any other person. That's right. When the Lord leaves you, everything you do becomes normal right. but when the lord is with you Jesus. you become extraordinary yes, lord. today anything that will cause the lord to leave you Jesus. listen let's listen has the lord left your business has the lord left your children has the lord left you has the lord 
left you. Samson is shaking himself, but what brings the power is no more there. Are you still connected to this altar? Jesus. Is the altar still working for you? Mm. Has the Lord left you? Start thinking about it. A man whose name is called Sansai today, God is not with him. If God is not with you, you can be called Sansai. But on a man who Jesus, you get to a point where everything around your life is no more there. One sickness can cause your light to go dim. Jesus, one court case can bring you down. That's true. Somebody can put just one lie on you, and the well cause everything to come down. Who is your Delilah? Jesus. And this Delilah I'm talking about, some of you think I'm talking about a lady. Some men are Delilahs. That's right. Some uncles are Delilahs. That's right. Some fathers are Delilahs. Jesus. Don't think a Delilah is the girl with the makeup. A man can be a Delilah. Causes a man's sunshine to come down. Verse 21. Verse 21. I have four minutes to go. Now look at it. A man that is called Samson, a powerful guy who is a judge, supposed to rule the whole nation. The Bible says, and they seized him and they took off his eyes. And they took him to Gaza, binding him with bronze shackles. And now the man who is a champion, he is grinding corn in the prison. Jesus. Now Samson has become a nika nika. A man who is so powerful. What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? When you used to have a lot of houses but today you are begging for a place to stay jesus what will you do when everybody is to come to you to beg for money but today you are the one looking for handout what will you do when everybody was after you but today you are the one going down jesus. the man who is a champion today he is a human being nika nika that's right so imagine young girls young boys all of them are bringing their green say something that's right and the something that was so powerful that can break a whole city is now on the floor. Nika Nika. What will you do? 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 What will you do when everything around you is falling down in your destiny? What will you do? Can I speak to somebody? Yes, sir. Now, the story of Samson is called a tragic hero. The story of Samson is called a tragic hero. Somebody who is great, but he comes down like Okunku of things fall apart. Oh, 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 oh. Samson falls down, and now he's, he's grinding on the ground. And when I'm about to end my sermon, I will shock you what happened in verse 22. Let's go. Verse 22. But with all this happens, the hair started growing again. But let me tell you something. It is too late. That's right. Verse 23. And this is what pains me. That may your enemies not praise their gods. Jesus. The Bible says now, I'm about to end it over here. Now the rulers, the same people that paid money and gave to Delilah, the same people assembled together. And they offer the great sacrifice. Protocol, let's say you are their god that is called Dagon. So kneel down small. They had a god called Dagon. One day I'll teach you about Dagon. They called their god Dagon. And all the five uh, um, champions of the fleet. I want five people. I want five men. Five men. Come right now. I want five men. Come right now. One, two, three, four, five. And get this. Yeah. One. Yeah. Get this. Get this. Yeah. Get this. And all of them came. Come right now. And all of them came to their god. And they offered, look at it right now. And they offered great sacrifice to Dagon. And to celebrate and said, our God has delivered. Um, uh, come as some something. Come as something. Put your hand at your back as a something. They said, Dagon, this is the Obosom, Dagon. They said, Gay Dagon, we are bringing you sacrifice. Because Dagon, your bosom, a bosom, we want to thank you. Because you have delivered our something into our hands. Jesus. When their enemies got him, they did a sacrifice to thank God. When was the last time you sacrificed to God? That's right. Do you sacrifice unto God for even God to give you victory? This one, after the victory, they still sacrificed unto God. And said, today, our enemy Samson is in our hands. 
I believe by the time they were offering all these things to Dagon, they were looking for Delilah to say, Delilah, congratulations, because you have brought something to us. The moment you let your enemies hear congratulations, you fall down in life. That's right. Be on your feet, I'm down. Jesus. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your hands. What will you do? Yeah, they can come in. Wow. The whole entourage. Wow. Lift up your right hand now. Church, this something story is, is, a, is a sad story. A champion, a powerful guy, a great guy. But today, he is grinding. He is grinding now. He is grinding now. Genevieve, go and sit here. Come and sit here. He is grinding now. He is now grinding now. He is now grinding corn in the prison. A great guy. He is now grinding corn in the prison. Lift up your right hand. Say, Oh, Jehovah. Oh, Jehovah. Come for your Jehovah. Say, Oh Jehovah. Oh Jehovah. Any power. Any power. Working. Working. I come for you. Say, Any power. Any power. Working. Working. Through any Delilah. Through any Delilah. Any Delilah. Any Delilah. That is a man. That is a man. A woman. A woman. Making sure. Making sure. My sunshine. My sunshine. Goes down. Goes down. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. By the power of God. By the power of God. Any Delilah. Any Delilah. That wants to dim my light. That wants to dim my light. I stop you now. I stop you now. By fire. By fire. Whatever you are pointing onto the ground, say it now. Now. Any valley life. Any valley life. Whatever. Whatever. Wants to bring me down. Wants to bring me down. Into the valley. Into the valley. I escape. I escape. I will never go. I will never go. Into. Into. Any valley. Any valley. I jump up. I jump up. From any valley. From any valley. I rise. I rise. To my mountain top, come up and pray. Rise up to your mountain top. Rise up to your mountain top. Now rise up. 